farms in the heartland, people cleaning up from those powerful tornadoes that sent debris flying more than 100 miles away. ABC's Alex Perez is on the ground again for us this morning in the hard-hit town of Washington, Illinois. Good morning, Alex. Good morning, Robin. This morning, the donations for those who lost their homes are streaming in. For the first time, we are getting a closer look at Ground Zero and seeing just how powerful this tornado really was. This morning, the magnitude of the monster tornado is just becoming clear. Survivor Chris Lancaster shared his story with us on Good Morning America on Monday. Our dream home is gone. We were with Lancaster as he returns to his home for the first time, but seeing it, simply too much. The tornado flattened his dream home. Oh my God! Lancaster recorded these frightening images as a nearly 200 mile per hour twister ravaged Washington, Illinois. He ducks into the basement just in the nick of time. God was with us. Somebody was with us. Titi! In the basement Titi. now, a small Titi. miracle. Daddy Matthew! Titi, the beloved cat he thought he had forever lost. Not far away, disbelief for Ronald and Joellen Burton. They were at church during the storm. The basement they expected to help them weather the storm destroyed. We'd have been underneath this yeah, big this desk. desk right here. Jenny Arvin returned to find her aunt home had become a parking lot. Her whole bedroom was under those two cars over there. Hundreds of homes across Illinois pulverized by the violent storm. More than 80 reported tornadoes ripped through seven Midwestern states, killing at least six people. The storm, so powerful, photographs and other personal belongings lifted by the furious wind, ending up hundreds of miles away. Those images now posted on Facebook, hoping their rightful owners will step forward. A fourth grade report card, even a passport, belonging to a woman 90 miles away. And that passport was returned to its owner late last night. As for Chris Lancaster and his family, they are staying with their in-laws as they and so many others here begin the process of rebuilding. George, Robin. All right, Alex, thank you very much. And having gone through hurricanes on the Gulf Coast, when you can get back some items like that, it's so precious. Especially that people that. are very good about returning. Yeah.